Hey guys, this is Freeze14 with another video. Um, this is a city that I've been building for at least a year. So yeah, so let's take a look. So in each episode, I will be touring at least three buildings. So I don't have very many at the moment, but I will keep on building. And I'm hoping to get at least 100 buildings in the city. So let's take a look at one. So, let's take a look at this one right here. So, this one is my, uh, what is it? Hotel. This is a hotel. Um, so yeah, I still need to decorate down here. Okay, so I'll just do that. Open up the door. And we'll go up to the first story. So, all the stories are the same. So, that will be quick. So, you have one room. It's really beautiful. I, I like the furniture mod because it adds a level of detail, which my city wouldn't have without the furniture mod. So, and then you can look out the window and see the courtyard. It's really beautiful. Um, I'll explain the beacon. So the beacon, that is my exact spawn point. So that's where I spawned. So if I have like multiplayer on here, everybody will spawn in that area so then it's easier to find the city. So yeah. Okay. So now we'll go up to the roof. All the floors look exactly the same except this one. I kind of mixed up the spacing. But yeah. That doesn't really matter. It, it looks just fine. So we'll go up to... Oh, here's the roof. And yeah. So you have a table, an umbrella, and some uh, torches on some fence posts. And here's the whole city, just giving you a quick glimpse. There's a beacon again. And yeah, so there's a simpler way of getting on and off of the roof. So there's a ladder right here. So we'll get onto that ladder and go down. Okay, so now we can go over here to the uh, jewelers. So do that. And when you walk over this, some diamonds appear in there. So the jewelers is uh, really cool. I worked hard on it and I like all the beacons. The beacons really make it look like they're diamonds. So that's why I wanted to add them. Oh, what happened there? Okay. I'm just going to fix that because that's kind of ruins the look of the store. So we just X out of that. Okay, so now we can move on to the spa. Okay. So, and this right here is the spa. So I've added some stone bricks in here. And, yeah, and some uh, flowers. What kind of flowers are these? Okay, let's see. Flower pot. Okay, that's the kind of flower that's on there. So you have a woman and a man's uh, change room. Well, not change room. Actually, it's a... Uh, what is it? It's a room where you can be in a spa. So you have your sink. And I like the new water mechanics because it makes it... It adds more detail to the game. Okay, and let's take a look at this so you have your um what is it called hot tub uh and also i added fire underneath so then it looks like there's bubbles coming out so yeah so i'll get out of here oh. okay so now what we can do is we can take a look at city hall which is very empty at the moment let me just get rid of these blocks. Okay, and then you have City Hall here. And you have your computer. It doesn't have a chair yet. I unfortunately put slash kill. And and I wanted to remove all my jeeps, but I forgot that the furniture were the the furniture was actually an entity. So actually I forgot to show you guys something. So in here, 
if you go in here. And then here's the front desk. So that Jeep lot over there kind of ties in with this because you have all these Jeep keys. And it's a car rental area in here. So you give out the keys. And what happens is you go over to the Jeep lot and you can rent a car from the hotel. So you have all these cars all red just to let you know they're from the hotel. And also here's the grocery store. So we'll go into the grocery store right here. It's kind of empty. I'll give you guys an update when I'm finished uh, filling this area in. And I'm also going to fix up the uh, the lighting in the ceiling because it looks too long. So yeah. Okay, so we'll go in here. Here you go. Here's a back room. And by the way, I learned this the other day. If you use wooden buttons on iron doors, they stay open longer than um, if you use stone buttons. So that's a thing to take into note. And then you have the trucking lot so i built this the other day and it's huge it's really nice and then you have a parking lot for the grocery store and also you also have this uh walkway out here and i also have crosswalks so you have all these and let's cross the street and go to my restaurant so this has a 70s vibe to it. I like that about it. It's really nice. So yeah. And we go into here. And I was actually in culinary class recently. And I saw how the kitchens were set up. So I kind of took an aspect of that. And oh, that's, that's super weird. And I took an aspect of that. And I put it into here. So you have all your coal for cooking. And you have all of your food. And with the new update that's coming, I'll be able to switch out these uh, furnaces with, uh, with the smoker. Which would be really cool. It would, it would add a lot more um, class to this kitchen. So yeah. Not saying that it's not classy already, but... It would just make it look a lot better. Okay. So now we can go out of here. And we'll cross the street again to the Jeep. To the Jeep dealership. So what we can do is we can go in here. And here's all the Jeeps. And the coolest thing about this. Is that when you switch this off. All the lights go off. So uh, at night. All the lights will go off. But maybe I should add a daylight center sensor to this. Because that would be a lot better. So yeah. we will turn on all these lights again. And by the way. This is a city texture pack. So it's really good for uh, making a city in. So now. What we can do. Is we can go over to the gas station. So the gas station needs some work. I built it in a different texture pack when I was building it so it didn't look this way. But yeah. And I just need to add in the driveways just into the gas station. And then you have these um, these covers for the, uh, for the gas to go in too. And now what we can do is we can go back here and go over to the swimming pool. So... Here's what the furniture looks like. Yeah. So you have the furniture there. Okay. And you can go in here. You can lounge on here. And you also have the, the men's and women's change rooms. And yeah. So it's pretty simple. You have your sink, your toilet. And yeah. Each bathroom is the same. And then you have these waterfalls, which that was the coolest part of building this, is adding those. And also I've add, added some soul sand. So then when you're sitting in here, you actually go up and down so then you don't sink. Okay, and we can go over here again. And you also have this couch, which 
I made it like a floating couch. So then when you're in it, it's like you're floating. Okay, so I'll get out of that. There we go. And then, here's another floaty. Which sends you flying quite high. So yeah. Okay. And now we can go out of here. And yeah. So we'll just go past the waterfalls. Yep. And then you can go through here. And there we go. Okay, guys. So that's the end of my video. But, um, I think it's a good idea if you guys give me suggestions for the next build that I do. So leave your, um, your comments in the comment section below. And just, um, just tell me what you want to see in the city. But my next build, I'll choose it myself. But but after that build, um, you guys can choose it. So yeah. So we'll go back here. And yeah, guys. So. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.